guys, how's it going? So I guess I am in Kanakona, I think. So the deal today is that I'm going from Kalalim Goa, here in South Goa, down to Gokarna in Karnataka state. And it is going to take several buses because I'm taking the uh, local buses today. I could have taken a uh, taxi. That would have cost 3,000 rupees, which is like 45 bucks. So no way in hell I'm gonna do that. But this is a fun way to go and it will be super cheap. So I just have to find uh, what the next bus to the next destination is. That last one cost 10 rupees um, and it was just like a you know, few kilometers. Okay, ticket, ticket here or? Thank you. And so he said 11.30 for the bus to Karwar. It's 11.33, if that clock is to be trusted. I'm going to check my own clock just out of curiosity. And yes, it's actually pretty close. So the bus will be coming any minute. So it is one of the brilliant things about uh, traveling in India is the bus system and how incredibly convenient and cheap it is. If you want to go anywhere in India, basically, you can just go to a uh, bus station and there will be a bus at least going in the general direction of where you're going, usually within 5, 10, 15 minutes if it's a longer uh, destination than maybe an hour or two possibly. But uh, basically you can just show up and uh, get moving at least. When it comes to comparing buses versus trains, then trains are highly preferable as far as the long distance routes. However, um, trains require advanced planning and booking. If you just show up to get a uh, train, there's a good chance that for one thing, it might be a long uh, wait until it is actually leaving. And also the trains tend to be booked up. And so the only thing that might be available is third class, which is the ultimate India experience. Um, I've done it before. That is not my bus, I don't think. Unless I just missed it. I checked before and it didn't say Karwar on the, on the thing. But Was that, that bus Karwar? No Karwar. No, okay, thank bus you. Is coming, this last Perfect, thanks a lot, man. And so if you're going to uh, plan a train journey, you really need to go book it in advance in order to at least get the second class um, option, which is like more of the just kind of regular Indian person option. The third class is the kind where you see people up on top of the train and like hanging out of the door and like it is just um, really, really intense. You are likely to be just totally crammed in there. So if you want to go for that, then give it a try. But otherwise for trains, you want to book them uh, in advance. Whereas the buses, you just uh, hop on and get rolling. Karwar Express. Karwar Express, excellent. Ancola, 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 Ancola. This, yeah, go, go, Karna. Okay. That's number three. So sometimes your uh, backpack will need to go in the uh, compartment in the back. Sometimes it will go up front by the driver. In this case, I've got it uh, under my seat. 
That was a 10 second wait for the next bus. And then there will be a fourth to Gokarna. Heads. In the world where the trees that exist are dead In the world where the cure for cancer is dead In the world where it takes so much to take a single breath In a world full of people who would brainwash heads In the world where the trees that exist are dead In the world where the cure for cancer is dead In the world where it takes so much to take a single breath No more heaven, no more hell No more bad, no more well Just a normal day in life That's as boring as hell I walked out to the store To get me a cigarette Take out my metal cash And pat my robo pet I don't have to go to sleep I'm powered by the smoke If I don't go back inside I'll eventually choke In a world full of people who would brainwash heads In a world where the trees that exist are dead In a world where the cure for cancer is dead In a world where it takes so much to take a single breath In a world full of people who would brainwash heads In a world where the trees that exist are dead In a world where the cure for cancer is dead In a world where it takes so much to take a single breath This is the Gokarna bus station. I made it the end of my journey for today. It's awesome to be here. This is my fourth time to Gokarna. It is a cool uh, little spiritual village. I will be giving more of a full tour in another video coming up for today. I need to find a uh, room. I don't have anything booked, so I'll just look around, find something, uh, you know, kind of simple and cheap. So that was four buses. It is now 2.30 in the afternoon. I left my hut back in Palalim at 11 o'clock this morning, so three and a half hours. The only wait that I had was uh, at that first stop at Kanakona for uh, 30 minutes, so pretty smooth. It was a total of 113 rupees, which is about $1.60, so pretty sweet. Colorful uh, sign there. Looks like maybe some local music.
Here's the room. This is actually a hotel that I've stayed at uh, before, the last time I was here, um, four years ago. This room here is just 450 rupees, that is just $6.50. And double mattress, fan, little balcony as you saw there, and a private bathroom. I'm looking forward to taking a nice cold shower. So that was an awesome uh, journey getting here. Definitely, um, you know, a good taste of uh, India, what you see from the um, streets, the markets, the sort of broken down, you know, infrastructure, um, the cows in the road and uh, um, all the, uh, you know, random vehicles and everything. So I hope you enjoyed uh, that awesome journey here to Gokarna. I'm now going to take a shower, take a rest, and then head out, find something cold to drink. See ya. So here's a little taste of the village. It is a Sunday, so it is especially quiet right now. This is a little market that is normally open with fresh uh, vegetables and fruits. The local language, which I guess would be Kannada, is the local language for Karnataka. Um, unless, you know, it could be Konkan, which is uh, the language of Goa, since that's nearby. Not sure. Maybe somebody uh, can say what this is. Oh. Oh, yeah.